But there is only one way to stop the bloodshed. Number one, release the hostages right away. Number two, surrender. If Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib really would like to stop the bloodshed away from their, like, free Palestine, free Palestine, they should pressure their Hamasis friend to do so. My name is Dalia Lakidi, um, a former journalist. I've been a journalist for 35 years, and I've been very active with think tanks. I just launched uh, my new uh, or a new think tank, the American Center for Counter Extremism in Minnesota, in the city of Minneapolis. And I'm running in Minnesota's fifth district against the most, the anti uh, Semitic. American lawmaker Ilhan Omar. Originally, I'm, uh, I'm from Iraq. I was born in Baghdad. I grew up in a Muslim culture, in a Muslim family. And then I moved to the U.S. in um, 93, um, by the way, before Ilhan Omar came to the U.S. Right this moment, I'm in Jerusalem. Uh, I came here four days ago. And of course, um, prior to October 7th, um, we've been like we just started the campaign we launched the campaign almost like three weeks ago but being from ground zero of anti-semitism and and seeing what happened the 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 brutality of the terrorist attack uh after or october 7th and f and, f and after that i decided that first of all minnesota's uh need somebody to convey their message they are not represented by ilhan omar Minneapolis, the 5th district, is not anti-Semitic. Uh, uh, we support Israel. We support the Jewish people. And we are not supporters of terrorism. So I came to tell the Jewish people, to tell the Israelis that I feel your pain. I'm with you. We are with you. And it's not only your fight. It's our fight. It's the fight between good and evil. It's sad that it's, this is my first trip, and it's very sad that I came under these horrible circumstances. Uh, I've seen a lot. I've been to kibbutz. I've seen the atrocities of what Hamas terrorists uh, have done. I've talked to people. I've talked to Arabs. I've talked to uh, Israelis. I've talked to Christians, to Muslims, to Jews, and nobody wants that. People are scared, not not scared of, of, of rockets. People are scared from that toxic ideology that is spreading all over the world against a, a, a minority, a very small minority and a peaceful mi minority. And when they say, oh, maybe ceasefire, oh, but ceasefire for what? I mean, what did the terrorists expect Israel to do after what I've seen? They say it's fake news, fake news, fake news. Fine, say fake news. I've seen it with my own eyes. I wouldn't want to stop. Why? To achieve what? I believe that terrorism and terrorist groups like Hamas, like the Jihad al-Islami, like all the militias, Hezbollah, and, and all the militias that are supported by, by Iran, I believe they should be fought from every angle. There is no place for terrorism, or there shouldn't be a place for terrorism and radical ideologies on this planet. As I said, I've covered war zones and I've covered terrorist attacks. I've seen what ISIS have done. Well, I've seen what ISIS has done, and I've seen what Al Qaeda has done. Combine the actions of Al-Qaeda and ISIS and put it in Miraz kibbutz. That's what I've seen. I went inside so many houses there. You can tell the story. You don't need to hear it. You can tell it. You can tell the, the, the doors from the doors of the safe rooms you see it from outside if you don't, before you enter the safe room and you see the bullet holes. You go in, you see the blood. 
you go in, it's awful. It is, it is awful. You can see, you can tell that these terrorists were hunting people, not from house to house, not from street to street, from room to room in their houses. Ilhan Omar is, is harming the, the soul of America. Ilhan Omar is just spreading hatred, anti-Semitism, and under the pretext of um, a human, uh, a human rights fighters. Human rights fighters don't do that. Human rights fighters don't divide the communities. Don't even, I mean, she's supposed to represent her, her, uh, her district. She's dividing her district. The only thing or the only goal Ilhan Omar has is to serve herself. That's it. I'm not here to achieve any political gain or anything. No, I'm here as a human being. I'm here to tell the people, not from behind my screen in the US, to be on ground with them and to tell them this is our fight. Radical ideologies target you, radical ideologies target me as a, uh, as a moderate Muslim. So we're all in this together and there is no stronger way to convey this other than me being here.